went to bed last night about eight o'clock. I had was only because I was up early. I had to get up at five o'clock yesterday morning for my blood work. But anyway, about I looked out here before I went to bed. Just the edges of the river were starting to freeze, and I mean, you know, a couple of inches out from the out from the uh, shoreline. Woke up this morning. The whole damn river's almost damn near frozen over. It goes way down. It goes it goes way down that way. The only reason that middle is not frozen because it's moving. There's some spots down there too that aren't frozen because it's moving. And it's moving pretty fast. But yeah, woke up this morning, minus nine degrees. That is the coldest <clears throat> I have been, have been around. And I am 63 years old. That's the coldest temperature I have ever been around. Yeah, or anywhere. <laughs> How is everybody doing? So I'm to do a little update. Uh, I got some stuff done on the plane. I got some stuff done on the small scale group build. But uh, yeah, the cold, oh my God, man. The wind yesterday was, it was howling. It was like 50, 60 miles an hour. Thank God it stopped. With a bunch of trees down out in our street. I had to pick them up this morning. That was fun. That was fun. I went out. I had a couple errands to run. The car barely started. I didn't think it was going to start, but it did. Uh, but yeah, just about the cold, the wind. Yesterday, on the top of Mount Washington, the coldest temperature yet, it was negative 106 degrees. I can't even wrap my head around that number. I can't even wrap my head around 106, minus 106 degrees. Coldest temperature to date ever recorded up there. Good God. Oh, Jesus. Tomorrow, up into the 40s. By the end of next week, 50s. Unreal. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I'm glad I ain't working no more. Water mains like the breaking this stuff. Those ain't fun. So, here's to anybody that had a workout in it. So amazing to back, baby. I'm gonna enjoy this one. In a couple of weeks. Here's to you. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. This plane, oh my God. I got a, I, most, I got a mostly together. I still have to put the end braces in, or what I call end braces. That's what they look like. That's why I call them end braces. So one on either side, and then there's two other, two regular just that go up, but they're at an angle. Compound. So, but I can hit the plane. Here's a plane. Pretty fancy painting underneath, boys. This is where my fingers and thumb are, it's silver. And it's got the white and the black underneath. I got a little touching up to do. But I guess I'm gonna get them braces in first. Got a cockpit. Um, yeah, this, the variant I am doing just has this front glass in. Does not have the whole canopy. Still got the gun barrel, haven't snapped it off yet. I have to put a piece of tape back on it. So there's the plane and then progress on the small scale. What a pain, this, uh, this kit was badly, cause you had to put these two side pieces on. 
and they were and they were literally had a big freaking hump in them. I tried to straighten one of them out, snapped it. I don't know if you can see where I broke it. Right there, snapped it right in half. So what I ended up doing was the front ones fit okay. So I got the front ones glued in. I was using that plastic weld. Then went, moved up to these with some clamps, clamped them, glued the shit out of it. I had to make one over here, and then these two back braces had snapped completely off. Thank God they were in the box. So we got that all together. Now I just got to paint it up. And I got the motor somewhat put together. I'll paint it after I got, I got a couple little, little bit more things to put on it, but that's it. And uh, yeah, there we go. Big update. Trying to catch up on videos. I've been watching and trying to comment or leave a thumbs up. So it's hard trying to keep a track of everybody. Christ. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, uh, subbing the snail. Scale model snail. When I first found her channel, she had 54 subs. I get up the next morning and look, she was at 120. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Best community on YouTube. You guys are always there, man. You guys are always there. So, I'm hoping it'll warm up. It's supposed to be, like I said, 40s by the 40s by tomorrow. I was texting with Jeff earlier. I said it was minus 9 here this morning. He goes, yeah, it was minus 15 here. I said, hey, you win. Yeah. <laughs> But the wind, man, wow. Yesterday, it was just, I think it was cold. It was like in the teens. Because yeah, then, then it really started to drop down. But that wind, man, it, I felt, felt colder yesterday, I think, than it did today. Because there's a little breeze out there. But not, if it was blowing like it was blowing yesterday, you wouldn't be able to be out there at all. I mean, you had to bundle up, but. I went from the door to the car, and then from the car into the store, and then back out and home. That was enough. Well, yeah, putting that top wing on that plane was a lot of fun. What I ended up doing, those struts, they had nice little flat spots on them. Right at the right angle. So I just cooled them. I took some measurements where the uh, where they went on the side because they give you two little marks. I measured that, cut the center line, and then just uh, traced that onto the bottom of the wing. Put some tape, marked everything off, glued them in. I let it sit for the day. It came back. This was what Thursday, so yesterday they were already they were nice and you know dry. So I put them. Damn if they didn't just almost exactly meet those marks, so I was happy. So wasn't wasn't off by maybe a half a millimeter. So I was I was cool with that. But great detailed kits, they're just a pain in the ass to put together. So but haven't lost haven't lost a PE pot yet. I just changed myself. Jeff. <laughs> nice to you, boys. Have a nice weekend, huh? Excuse me. I wish you could smell. We got the, uh, I made a stuffed meatloaf this morning. Bacon wrapped it. It's in the oven now. That's all I can smell. It's driving me crazy. Shallots, onions, garlic, black olives, couple of different sh uh, shredded cheeses, sausage and hamburg, with a little bit of, uh, <coughs> with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Then cover that with bacon, put it in a loaf pan, cover it with bacon, two hours in the oven, because it takes them long because it's so thick. But, yeah, good stuff, man, good stuff. All right, 10 minutes, awesome. 10 more off his life, baby. Thanks to all the new subs.
I have hit the 1540 mark, 1541 as a matter of fact. So, very cool, very cool. So, thanks to everybody. I really appreciate it. I probably don't say thank you enough, but thanks for tuning in and, and watching this all, man. Appreciate it. Peace out.